Hello. Art, 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 art 101 with Mr. Burger. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to another installment of Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger, a professional artist and educator attempting to bring you the best in art historical content. And uh, there's other stuff I can't remember, but I've been keeping... As always, I appreciate the likes, the shares, the subscribes. Any interaction is a good interaction. Does anybody out there have any questions? So today I was thinking we would talk a little bit about the St. Denis Abbey uh, right outside of Paris. It's a very uh, interesting structure because of how much influence it would have. Tenderfoot, move your chicken wings, turkey. <laughs> the Gothic style is of French architectural origins. It began in the small kingdom of Franca, a region that occupied the land that contained Paris in its center, where Abbot Sugar was placed in charge of the building of the Abbey Church of Saint Denis, or Saint Denis. Without the Abbey of Saint Denis, you would never have had this possible, so let's take a quick look at that. The Abbey, located a few miles north of Paris, is built on the location where Saint Denis died. As the patron saint of France, St. Denis is wildly popular, past, present, and future. As the tale goes, St. Denis was the Bishop of Paris, and he would have his head cut off by some Roman soldiers around 250 AD in the area now known as Montmartre, on the far north edge of Paris. His headless body would reach down and grab his own head and walk, traveling two miles north, allegedly preaching the entire way. In the location where his body would fall dead is the location of the Abbey of Saint Denis. Sugar wanted to build an amazing cathedral that looked unlike anything else. He brought together the architectural components of the Burgundians with their pointed arch, and the Normans with their tall ribbed vaulted ceilings, and this was the first seed of the Gothic style. And as the style would evolve, so would these elements. Sugar's plan would influence numerous cathedrals throughout France, Germany, England, Spain, Austria, Switzerland, Poland, the Czech Republic, Transylvania, Denmark, Sweden, Italy, and many other countries throughout Europe. This is really the first time in history that the majority of the world is creating using one stylistic idea. But the quintessential Gothic cathedral without a question is the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Man, I love that story. Get the hell out of here. Oh, come on!